teaching class. We have, uh, for our class assignment, been tasked to present a 10 slide presentation to bring in the technology aspects of, of doing uh, of classroom teaching. I've selected to use the ritual of foot washing uh, based on my professor's approval. First of all, the objective of this presentation is to tell you the history of foot washing. How far back did it actually come into existence? We'll also be looking at the reason for foot washing. Everything has a reason and we will establish the reason that it became about. We'll also be using to support this with scriptorial references uh, so that we always want to make sure that what we are teaching corresponds to the Word of God. As if with anything, you always need some materials. So the first thing we need is the Word of God. We don't do anything without Him, without His support. Then naturally, if you're going to wash feet, you need to have a basin or something to put the feet in. Then you need a towel, a towel to dry it off. You need a pitcher to pour the water in. And most of all, you need some water. Can't do it without water. Feet washing was observed by the early Christians. Early Christians dating back into the book of Genesis. Uh, as people traveled, uh, they wore sandals. And because of wearing sandals and traveling great, traveling great distances, their feet got dirty, it got dusty. So feet washing was a sign of hospitality, it was a sign of humility, and it was a sign of love. We also know that feet washing, uh, as recorded in the Bible, was used by the saints, and it was used by the, pra the primitive churches uh, in, in ancient times. Again, it refers to piety. It refers to submission, because it takes someone to submit un against themselves in order to bow and wash someone's feet, which is humility. And also the Old Testament references show that foot washing was the first act upon entering a tent or a house. Normally, when someone would visit, they would always be greeted by the guests or by the host, and the host would invite them in. They would kiss them, they would hug them, and they would also to wash their feet. Jesus gave us an example of how we are to be when he washed the disciples' feet. He said we are to be servants. Did Jesus intend to institute foot washing as a church ordinance? There has been several theologians uh, who have looked at this and they've incorporated that into their uh, uh, communion services, into their baptismal. But the scripture really does not enforce the fact that the washing of feet should have been one of the ordinances. Should the example be associated with hospitality and serving others as an individual act? Yes, based on the word of God, he showed hospitality. He showed serving others when he washed the disciples' feet. We'll look at some of the scriptures that represent this. There are scriptures in the Old and New Testament which refer to feet washing. In Genesis 18 and 4, Abraham, when he was being visited by a stranger, offered him hospitality. He brought him in, he greeted him, he kissed him, and then he also offered him water to wash their feet. A lot of times this has been done by you giving the guest water and a towel, or it even can be done by having a servant come in and wash the, uh, the guest's feet. In Luke 7, 36 and 50, the woman with the alabaster box came as Jesus was at supper and she poured ointment on his feet and then she wiped it with her hair. In John 13 and 1, Jesus gave us the example about washing his disciples' feet and he told them that this was an example that he was giving them that they should also go about being and serving others. In 1 Timothy 5 and 10, we speak, you will see where it speaks about a woman who has shown hospitality. And that hospitality was reported as her doing good works. So the washing of feet, the hospitality, the, the, the humility, the love, you know, it has been practiced for over 2,000 years. It is not something that was just came up now in the modern day culture, but it is from ancient of age. It is an act of hospitality, an act of love that we display one to another. It is a relationship building tool that expresses, I am glad that you are here. I want to serve you. I want to welcome you. And Christ led by that example. It is, the scripture supports it. Jesus said, no greater love of man than to lay down his life. We have A game, because we've always want to include technology.
this is an interactive game, and it deals with what we had just some of the, the items that we reviewed. It gives you the opportunity to uh, uh, relate questions uh, which coincide with the PowerPoint that we just saw. It is a teacher's game. It's set up to where a class member can go in, type in the logo, which I just left on the screen. And there's a PowerPoint quiz. And as we play it, it will bring out a lot of the things that we had already discussed. And we'll have two players. All right, Pat, you want to be a player?
see all the materials that we listed are being utilized in this ritual. We have the basin, the water, the towel, everything that we had discussed. That is the end of my presentation. Very nice. Thank you.